Hi guys, what I've got here is the Flashbang LED board from Diatone. This is a product which I've never, well, I thought about using and I've never given them a go before. So we're gonna crack this open. We're gonna grab an old quad and we are gonna connect these LEDs up and see how they work. So stick around. Let's open this up. This is what you get in the packet. Yeah, all open there. You get some heat shrink and you get your, if that focuses, you get your LEDs. Let me zoom in a bit because that's not focusing at all. Yeah, you get your LEDs. And you basically, you just break these open, break these off even. Just like that. There's one, there's two. The last one's always a bit trickier. Three and four. So there you go, four little separate ones. Uh, these are marked up. They're marked up in ground and five volt and it actually says out ground and five volt. So I think it does matter if you get them the right way. Don't you can see that at all. There we go, it might be better. Take my word for it, that's what it says. So I'm gonna make sure I get these wires on the in and then the out, because you can, apparently you can daisy chain these. So you can add more to the same row if you wanted to. But I've only got the four. If I find a couple more, I may see if I can daisy chain them and show you that as well. I've got my old quad. This has got a Mamba F7 board on it, so these should actually work perfectly. And I know that this F7 board actually has the LED pads right here. And these again are your ground, or your five volt, your ground, and your LED. So it should be very straightforward to actually set up. So let's give it a go, see what happens. So here we have my, my old original Apex, where I've taken just taken the lid off. I've unplugged the DJI Air unit, taken the antennas out. Uh, this is my F7 board. Uh, it's a bit of a state in here, if I'm honest with you. My camera focuses, there you go. But that's, well, it is a bit of a state. That's why I'm going to be, later on, I will be taking this quad completely apart, rebuilding it, new motors, new board, everything. I may not even be able to actually use this DJI for the air unit again. And well, but what you've got here is you've got three little pins or soldering pads, and these are your LED boards there. And they actually go sort of forward, back, and so you've got five volt ground and then your LED wire, and you've got it the other way around. So it's five volt ground LED on the back. I've double checked this on the wiring diagram. Always check a wiring diagram before you actually start anything like this. It's always worth double checking just to make sure you get it all done correctly. So I'm gonna tin these up. I'm gonna connect these. These, like I said, these are marked with an in. So I presume they're in and out goes in and out, so that's in, well that's out even, so it would be that way, just a simple wire, simple wire, and then we'll see if it lights up, so bear with me, I'll just get all my soldering kit out. So there you go guys, I've got all four LEDs in place now, I've only loosely put these on just for these, this video, because I will be taking these off after when I do the Apex rebuild, so I've just blue tacked these on just so I can show you. There's two, set, there's two sets of pads on each end of these LEDs. There's the small circle ones, and there's the larger ones here. These larger pads are actually for your motor wires. You can run it direct from them, or you've got the three pads here, which connect to your dedicated LED pads on your flight stack. So please remember that, because they won't work. If you connect these up to your larger pads here, which is meant to be for the motor wires, the LEDs will not work. They only work off for smaller pads. So something to watch out for. So as I said, this is just up for this review. These wires, obviously you would trim these and you'd put them on nicely and everything like that, blah, blah, blah. But I just wanted to get this on just to show you. So there it is. Let's turn the lights out and let's see if these work. So if you've got a, a flight stack like this, this is the Mamba F7. There's a separate little button on it. It's just below, it's just below the um, DFU mode button, which is your bootloader. Don't press that one, but 
just under it, if you click and hold, you can change all these modes. So there's a hold. And we're gonna start flashing on there. Hold it again. Starts these flashing. Hold it again. Makes it more solid. And again. And we'll go for a flash. Everybody likes a flash. It's a faster flash. My camera's just decided not to focus. There we go, camera's back. Yeah, so that's pretty cool, I think. So if you press this button as well, just the once, you can change the colors. A lovely purple. Press it again, I think that's the white. Again, you've got a red. Again, green. Blue. Back to yellow. So yeah, pretty cool, very simple. Looks very nice, actually. It's my first LEDs, and I'm quite happy with them. Try this button again. Uh, just a nice blue. So yeah, loads of modes there. You can configure this as well in Beta Flight. Beta Flight, there is a switch you need to press or switch on, and that is basically just in the configuration tab. I'll put a little screenshot of it up in the corner, but that's just basically put your LED strips on. Very simple. And like I said, if you've got one of these member stacks, you can configure it, use the button on the side, or you can use Beatflight. So it's very versatile. And I think it actually looks very cool. I've only basically just put these on very basically because I am just going to take these off. But seeing them like that, when I actually do rebuild this Apex, I might actually stick them back on because I think they're pretty cool. And I've got them kicking around, so I might as well use them. <laughs>